having a good night so far? Yay! Excellent. I'm glad to hear. I'm also having a great day because I found out today I actually got a new job. Woo! Thank you very much. I felt like I had to get a new job because um, I, I really did not enjoy, enjoy my old job at all. I used to work as a fundraiser. And uh, sometimes I feel like fundraisers just get a little bit too personal. I had a fundraiser turn up at my door and uh, opened the door and realised it was a fundraiser far too late. He was a young guy in his early 20s and I thought, Christ, I'm going to be here for hours. The first thing he said to me though was, though, he looked me up and down and he said, is your mummy or daddy in? <laughs> Are you taking the piss? <laughs> I'm clearly older than you. I really wanted to say to him, I am the daddy. <laughs> but I knew I'd be there forever, so I just said, Mummies at work can't talk to strangers. Bye. <laughs> also, street fundraisers as well. I, I just hate being caught out by them because I'm a little bit awkward and I can't just say no. I can't just have a nice conversation with one and say, Thank you very much for your time. I loved your chat. I just, I cannot afford a direct debit this month on your way. <laughs> I always end up in a really heated debate, then shout something really inappropriate, like, no, I do not want to save the children. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone hating me is actually not the reason why I changed jobs. It was actually my job title. I just, I was not living up to the expectations of my job title. I was not forward-facing fundraiser. I was actually very much in the office, and my job was to try and get people to give monthly donations. So to get people to give regularly, but they called me the regular giving officer. <laughs> you know, I always thought when I got my first full-time job, I'd be dead proud, but instead I had to go about the place saying, hi, my name's Natalie, I'm the regular giving officer. <laughs> they even gave me 500 business cards to get started. Now, there is no way I'm giving them out. <laughs> Unless I'm on a night out. <laughs> to tell me what to expect. Number one on the list was an oral exam. <laughs> I an oral exam to become the regular giving officer. I really did not know how to prepare. <laughs> I didn't know how to prepare a speech or just drink a fuckload of water, massage my cheeks and put some Vaseline on. <laughs> I'm conscientious though and I did all of the above. And I got the job everyone! <laughs> I never used my speech once. <laughs> so, so it wasn't the only reason either. I just I couldn't see much progression in the role. You like to see a little career path for yourself. And there was only run one role up from the regular giving officer, and that was the giving head. <laughs> I'm just not going there Monday to Friday. <laughs> make your, you know, your transport quite cheap and quite practical. And so my, the comics chariot of choice is generally the Megabus. Now, I love the Megabus, but what I love more than the Megabus is the Megabus Gold. Now, for those that don't know what this is, it's actually, it was a bus that went from Glasgow and Edinburgh all the way down to London overnight that had little beds on it. And I used to use this all the time, but I was told last year this was being discontinued and I was gutted because it's an affordable and slightly comfortable way to go if you have to go anyway which is exactly how I am pitching euthanasia to my grandfather. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get to London now, though, because I'm quite like to go down quite cheaply, like I'm known for it. Like to London. <laughs> and uh, I can't go by train. I just don't like virgin trains at all. But I feel like virgin trains are very well named, because if you've never been on a train before, <laughs> you're all right. <laughs> you don't know any different. But in hindsight, you can really ride better. <laughs> Can't drive down to London either, because my dad, he hates me driving, and I think it's because I'm his only daughter and I'm his princess, and he worries. But it's actually because he's a sexist. <laughs> he's not like that with my brothers. He thinks it's because I've crashed into a roundabout five times. <laughs> Two sides to every story, Dad. That's what I tell him. Two sides to every road, Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> my friends do not help my case. One of my best friends, Kira, said to my dad that even though she's been driving for five years, she was just about to start paying attention to road signs because they're quite useful. <laughs> she said she came across one in particular that said, watch your speed. She said, right enough, well, that was quite useful because I took my eyes off my speed for one second to concentrate on the road and someone snorted it all in the back. <laughs> Doing. So is my mum, and I feel like they're going through a little bit.
have a midlife crisis because I recently found out that my mum has downloaded <coughs> Tinder. Now I confronted her when she did this because she's still married to dad. <laughs> research purposes and was amazed that you can simply order a man online. <laughs> Pretty it's not ordering a man online, Mum, that's much more of an escort. <laughs> and secondly, I don't think it's okay that you're using my face as your Tinder profile picture. <laughs> Mum's literally catfishing me. She thinks Tinder's like Amazon, you can just click and collect and order a man right to your doorstep. <laughs> I know Tinder's nothing like Amazon, because no man I've ever had on my doorstep has ever been in their prime. <laughs> She's a strong woman, and uh, I'm a strong woman as well. I like to consider myself a little bit of a feminist, and uh, absolutely. And uh, so I, I have actually been thinking, you know, I watched one of the, the newer Wonder Woman films when they came out, and I thought to myself, why are there not more positive female role models in films? And I've cracked it. Words alone are putting young girls off from becoming Wonder Women themselves because male leads in films, they're called heroes, lovely Cadbury chocolates that you give to your children. Females, heroines. <laughs> Last A life destroying addictive drugs. <laughs> but ladies, we are definitely worth more on the streets. <laughs> oh yes. Not all heroines wear capes, but some do carry spoons, girls. <laughs> surname and that's no partner hating reason it's just my ex had a really shit surname and if I had to put a blanket ban on the lot of them his surname was Booty but my middle name is White <laughs> so if I ever had to introduce myself I'd have to say hi my name's Natalie White Booty <laughs> the regular giving officer 